Hey, I'm hella busy right now. Can I call you back later? At three? I thought I was supposed to be at four. Hold up, let me check. Oh, never mind, you're right. Oh my God! Mom, thanks for letting me know. I love you so much. I have to make another call though, I'll call you back. I think it came out. The Newman thing, or whatever it's called? Yeah, the new house thing. <gasps> Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god! Ah, yes! Good job. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh my god. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Okay guys, we're almost done. Just one more thing. Um, you're gonna partner up and do a research paper on environmental injustice. Um, but before you go running to your friends to pair up, I already signed you guys. So Calvin, you're with Jason. Evan, you're with Zoe. And Alex, you're with Simone. Um, and I'll just post the rest of it on Canvas later. I'll see you guys tomorrow. partners on the project. Oh. Right. My bad. What are we supposed to do it on? Environmental injustice. No, I mean like, do we pick or? Uh, no, she didn't say. It's a sign though. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what are you writing? Huh? I mean, like right now, but before and also always, every class you're on some Google Doc. Um, it's just my manifesto. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so you taking the bus? Nah, I gotta stay after. S sports? Student gov. Oh, um, do you guys actually do anything in that? Or is it just like, you know, an actual government? No, yeah, we do stuff. I mean, like, this past month we've been trying to get new water fountains. Oh wait, really? Yeah. That's actually really cool, because, you know, the ones we have are, like, rusted and nasty. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, we've been doing that. Moving along hella slowly, though. Yeah. Sounds very governmental. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, so do you want to come to my house, um, later? Um, to, you know, work on the project? Oh. If she's posted it, of course. Oh. Um, or if we've like, you know, telepathized it from like her brain. Um, uh, yeah, one second, let me just check. Um, I can do it after five. Um, so six? Yeah, sure. 
Okay, um, have fun doing whatever you have planned. Thanks. Mm -hmm. See you. Looks like my cousin. You got a cousin that looks like Che? His name's Che? Yeah, Che Guevara. He's like this iconic revolutionary. He worked with Castro, went to a bunch of different countries to help free the people from, you know, capitalism. It's honestly kind of funny when you think about it. His face is like carved onto the Rushmore of anti-capitalist revolutionaries. But it's been turned into a cute little image for Urban Outfitters to just put on a poster and sell for 30 bucks. You can sit down, by the way. Oh, thanks. Uh, you make him sound like a hero. Well, he is a hero. But don't say that here in Ohio. Here in God fearing all American Ohio, the FBI will definitely come for you. Oh my God, you think that's a joke? But the guy in the next town over called the cops on an anti-American socialist because he had a Bernie sign up. Oh God bless America, land of the free, home of the brave. Amen. <laughs> but yeah, he looks like my cousin. Nothing like him as a person though. He doesn't really do much or say anything or really go anywhere. But um. He just sits in his room all day, playing PlayStation, staring at his Foco Pops. He plays guitar too, so he did get me to start playing. I'll give him that. Wait, you play? So do I. Oh. Um, barely, honestly. <laughs> I just get to play when um, Student Gov lets us out early and I can get to the music building before it locks. You should play something. Oh. Keep going. <laughs> That's all I've got so far. Wait, really? I loved it. Oh, and I'm not just saying that because you're my project partner and I'm trying to sweeten you up for the peer evaluation or whatever she calls it. I mean, you may need a little bit of learning, but you got it, like, actually. Thanks. <laughs> you should come here to practice. Fuck the music room and it locking and all of that bullshit. Wait, actually, that'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah, you wanna start now? Wait, but the project. Oh yeah, right. What injustice were we assigned again? Um, yeah. okay. Um. <laughs> uh, the Flint water crisis. Hey, hey dude, hey, hey, hey! What's this about? Is this like a school thing or something? It's for the Flint water crisis in Flint, Michigan. The government messed up once again and countless lives are being threatened. So, yeah, almost 100,000 residents of Flint, Michigan just got their water swapped out for ones contaminated with lead. This could lead to hypertension, kidney failure, and a slew of other diseases. So we're trying to get people to donate to relief organizations. You could find the contact information right here and maybe call city council and demand for change. It would really, really help. Jesus, this... This is this is awful. I don't I don't know how I haven't heard about this. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. I don't know. When you proposed this entire thing, I wasn't thinking it was actually gonna work. More than just writing a paper, but I don't know. It feels like actually it feels like actually doing something, right? <laughs> exactly. I feel like Che. Like, I feel big, like I mean something. I know, right? It reminds me when I do some extra chores around the house to help my dad and let him relax for a little bit, or when I volunteer at that organization, Girls and Boys Club, and I help people with their homework. But I don't know, it feels like this is kind of for me too, you know? Exactly. It's for them though. It can be about both. Anyways, that's irrelevant. What we did today was great. And there are so many more opportunities. Fuck 
college. Let's just go to Michigan and work straight on the ground. I know, but shouldn't we, shouldn't we take this a little bit more slowly and see what's possible and what's not? Slow down. Girl, we don't have time to slow down. People are dying. Fuck. Fuck it, you're right. Okay, let's go to Michigan. Let's do this. Let's let's call some organizations, maybe Flint Recovery Group, and do some outreach work. We can even start our own organization. And once everything has been settled with Flint, you'll be in line for a great job, which is gonna give your dad like days, weeks, months, just so much more time for himself. And I'll have some credibility, just something to stand on so I can like show myself and my worth as a writer. So I mean, this is great. We have to start like right now. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's take it step by step though, because this is a lot, but let's go back to your place and figure it out. And, oh, while I'm there, can I practice for a little? I wanna work on that song. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Jessica! Oh, you're so Dude, you haven't even got to cry! No! I'm gonna get over, I'm gonna get over. I don't okay. wanna walk in really. I don't know. Oh, did you see the text for the water recovery group? No. There's a meeting tomorrow at 6 and they said we can call in. <laughs> Finally. No, actually. Oh my god. I'm, I can't wait till we're actually, like, you know, at meetings actually doing stuff. Waiting around with nothing to do is ass. I know. Only two more months, though. True. But anyways, as I was saying, so what I really loved about like the party was like when I started dancing, that like, everyone started dancing with me, and then there was just like so much going on, and just you know, I really, I really loved the vibe. What did you think? Like, huh? Said, what did you think? Fun? Not fun? What? You have an utterly neutral experience from the party? Oh. Uh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, it was the first one I've been to, so nothing really to compare it to, but. Yeah, it was a nice way to end the year. Yeah. It wasn't the best, but it punctuated graduation nicely. Yeah. It's yeah, it's crazy. No, I wouldn't say that. No, just the fact that I'm here, you know. Done with high school. <laughs> Outside on some street. Next to party kind of drug. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never be able to do this before. I thought your dad was chill with it. No, I mean, I'd be allowed. It's just the whole time all I'd be able to think about is what I'm not doing. You know, it's just ever since she left, that's all it's been. Absence, not being where I am, just worrying about where I should be. And when I am doing something, all I'm worrying about is, oh, I should be instead helping my dad or those kids or even another student rep in Gov. But at that party, I was actually there, present, no worries, happy. Yeah, that is crazy. Hold up. Can I show you something or someplace? <laughs> but the Uber. The Uber's like 18 minutes away. Plus, we can just move the pickup spot. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the stars this clearly. Yeah, it's nice, right? Yeah, so nice and serene. It's amazing. Yeah, it's like my own little pocket of the world, you know? My own place to just be with myself. Yeah, I've needed some place like this. Yeah, it's great. But it's just... There are billions and billions of planets and stars and nebulas, and they're so huge. And then I look down here, just around us, and I'm thinking, what are we? We're practically nothing. We're invisible. We're like the crumbs that you don't even bother picking up when they fall to the ground. And it's fucking bullshit. I want to matter. I want the things I do to fucking matter. I want to change the world. I want to change people's lives. And I try, I fucking try. But then practically routinely without fail, I wonder if the things I actually do actually mean something. I've spent years writing my manifesto. I've been trying to radicalize everyone I know. I've been playing activist. You're not a crumb. 
but you're not. Everything you do for Flint, for me, it does something. It matters to the people up in Flint, to the people trying to help, to your parents, and to me. It matters to me a lot. A lot more than some stars halfway across the goddamn universe. Come on. Alex, just now uh, on the street, Wait, I... Do you see that? Those foreign constellations! Those, those stars! Chase! Chase! Saw that was a motorcycle ride. Yeah, you've shown me that at least six times already. Oh. Yeah. Right. Did you? You saw that? Oh my god, that was insane! Wow! Um... Th that absurd little thing! They're flying fucking parallel! Don't go on like that forever! Yeah... <laughs> wow. Wait, parallel? Yeah, weren't they? Eh, uh, no, I don't think so. Just the way they each lined up with the moon, you know? They're not quite parallel. I don't think that's even possible. So yeah, Raul says to start getting settled in first, and then we'll get started working like a week or two after we get there. Oh, and he also said that um, he'll let us know what schedules like we get and what day we're working like really, really soon. This is crazy. And it's even crazier that I managed to resist the expectation to attend a business disguised as an educational institution. I was thinking that with my parents forcing me to apply for college and everything that I wouldn't be able to work on Flint full time. But I'm able to. They didn't force me to go. Yeah, that's crazy. Are you okay, Simi? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, uh, huh? yeah. I got off the wait list at Northwestern. I've known for a while now, actually. Oh, nice. Same, actually. Wait. <laughs> really, when? Um, just a little after graduation. Why didn't you tell me? I mean, I didn't think it was really a big deal, you know? I mean, Northwestern's nice and all, but... Like, I can, you know, I can get my writing done and I'll be an even a better writer than I am right now, and... I'll be able to get discovered and my writing will be able to be seen by people, but... Flint's the plan, right? No, yeah. Yeah, that... that is the plan. Alex, I've been thinking about it a lot, and I think I'm gonna go. But... but, but Simi... The plan? I know, I know. It's just like... It works out perfectly, you know? It's perfect. They have a government law major. Um, it could set me up for good jobs, good internships, good everything. Also the aid package they gave me. Oh my god, it's literally cheaper for my dad to pay me to go to college than go to Flint. It just makes sense. But what about the people of Flint? What about the changes we're gonna make in everything we're doing? What are you saying? Of course I still want to help and fix the fucked up shit. It's just, you know, there's the money aspect and I don't think this street activist thing is the way to go about it forever, you know? I kind of just want to work on it at an institutional level. At an institutional level? Simi, don't tell me you're falling for this establishment bullshit. Look at what it does. Look at Flint for fuck's sake. God, Alex. Look, I know I don't know as much as you when it comes to this let's fix the world shit, but wouldn't it be better to get an education and a seat at the table instead of saying fuck the system and hearing it echo in the empty streets while carrying water drugs to community centers? Please, Simi. Just, just come to Michigan with me. Please. Please. Why can't you come with me? You know why! Why can't you? I don't know. I, I just have to do this. For me. I know. I, I know. 
I'm I'm scared, okay? And I'm I'm worried. I I just don't know how things are going to be. I know you're worried and and I understand it's just it's not like I'm done working at Flint. It's not like I'm done helping. It's just, you know, I'm just going to be doing it from Chicago. I love you. I love you too, Sue. So much. Happy birthday. Oh my God, Alex, thank you so much. How are you? How have you been? Good, good. You know, it's been tiring as fuck, but it's good. Oh, and by the way, I'm really sorry for not texting much. I've been really, really busy. No, no, don't worry. I've been having to do so much. I'm all over the place, but uh, how are things going, you know, with work? It's been good, but exhausting. And just like last week, I upped my time with five days a week. That sounds like a lot. No, for real. Yesterday was the first time I've had the chance to write in weeks. But either way, I'm doing good. I'm happy for you, Alex. Also, you reminded me, I'm coming down for the meeting next week. You want to meet up before and go together? Uh, well, actually, I've been meaning to tell you. I started working with this other group Raul knows people in. Flint Care. He actually recommended them to me and said I'd be able to help them more with working with them. Oh, okay. It's cool. It's so cool you're doing all you can do to help, you know? Yeah. Anyways, um... What's up with you? You see, we're both nominated for some activism awards thingies. Yeah, I saw that. That'd be crazy if we won. No, for real. Yeah. So... Um... Oh, um, you still talking to that girl you told me about the last time we called? Uh, the one who looks like Aviva from our Enviro class but with brown hair? You mean Sam? Nah. Anyway. That was like two months ago. You didn't know I was with Dara? Oh, nah. You never told me. Oh, well, yeah, I'm with her as of like a month now. She's amazing. She's in my poli sci class and she's so smart. Always taking me to museums, eagerly explaining all the exhibits. She's really into film too. She showed me all these crazy movies. We just finished a Kubrick binge. Okay, Sammy. Museums? Kubrick? I see you. Did you woo her with your guitar playing? <laughs> no, not really. I haven't really had time to practice anymore. Oh, gotcha. So, uh, yeah. Oh, oh shit. Um, I gotta go. I'm getting a call, some foot care stuff. It's been so nice talking, though. Oh, okay. See ya, Alex. Let's try to talk more. I miss you. Yeah, definitely. I miss you a lot too, Sunny. See ya.